Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Haley, my babysitter, Sarah, Pepper. <laughs> He's over in the corner. Hello. And our other babysitter, Blake. But they're out of the picture. Um, I wanted to give y'all an update yesterday, but we've had an interesting first few days since Tessie and egg retrieval. Uh, yesterday we were both in a lot of pain. Uh, he's got some issues going on from his procedure and then I was in a lot of pain too. We both have tossed and turned. And I woke up this morning just in a lot of pain and <laughs> poor thing. He was on the ground on all fours and he ended up telling me that I needed to call my doctor so I did and I just went in and I have OHSS. Yay! So I had a feeling that's what it was because I had talked to a few of y'all that have had OHSS before and my symptoms sounded very similar. So she was able to get me in today and um, first she did a stomach exam and she said by your size I can already tell you that it's probably OHSS. And then she did um, the sonogram and confirmed that it was. Um, to give you an idea, your ovary should be two by three. I think that's centimeters. I'm not really sure. It should be two by three, whatever that means. And my right one is seven by four, and my left one's five, five by four. And I have 23 milliliters of free floating fluid in my abdomen. That's come from my ovaries. So there's mild, moderate, and severe, and mine's moderate OHSS. So she said she's hoping that it doesn't get worse and progress to severe, because at that point is when you have to go get drained. Um, so hopefully it doesn't get any worse. So on a high salt diet, um, lots of top ramen and pretzels and stuff like that and a ton of Gatorade so she took me to the grocery store and got me all my snacks and then gave me narco which hopefully will help the pain we're making dinner because I have to eat that with food um, and then E has Tylenol through with coating so that if I prefer because I took that the last two days so that's what we have been doing since egg retrieval and Tessie. And I thought it was gonna be easy after our first egg retrieval because that one was kind of like a walk in the park. Yeah, I was sore and crampy, but it wasn't anything like this. So, of course this had to happen. But we got our day one report about our embryos. So we are gonna tell you all about it. Um, I'll give you the nutshell version, and then for those of you that are really interested in what's happening, I'll tell you what's happening to every single embryo. So the nutshell version is we have six embryos that fertilized, and we have two embryos that are currently being watched. Um, so our embryologist called yesterday and said she was really excited to call us and that it was a happy phone call. I think she kind of thought it was going to be go differently, but she was happy to give us um, that phone call, she said she miraculously was able to use three of the mobile sperm from the Tessie sample. Um, and out of the 12 eggs they retrieved from me, 10 of them were actually mature, which was better than what we had thought because at egg retrieval, she said it was looking like half of them were going to be viable. So 10 out of 12 was way more than what we were expecting, which was awesome. So they had 10 eggs to do ICSI on. So for the Tessie sample, they used the three sperm that came um, from ACE surgery. And out of that, one fertilized, one, one has not fertilized yet, but they were still watching it, and one already degenerated. So really we have one embryo out of the Tessie sample, possibly two. And then uh, the seven other eggs that still need to be fertilized, they used the frozen sample. Um, we still had eight frozen back up from our first IVF cycle. Um, so they, out of all of those samples, she was able to find three normal sperm and then four sperm that had different morphology and the morphology is the shape. So as long as they don't have two heads or two tails, she can use them. She said some of them have like a flatter head, but morphology isn't like an end all be all. So. I can get really detailed with that. Out of the three that she fertilized with the normal sperm from the frozen sample, two fertilized, and the third one has not yet, but they're still watching it. And then out of the four that she tried to fertilize from the frozen sample that had the different morphology, three fertilized, and the fourth one they've already discarded because it didn't fertilize correctly. It already had an extra chromosome, so 
that one they had to get rid of. So out of the frozen sample, uh, it's looking like we have five embryos, possibly six. So that gives you our total of six fertilized embryos, possibly eight, two more being watched. So that was a super happy update. Um, I was very nervous to get our first call, but very hopeful. Um, and I'm really just feeling good. I feel um, spiritually and emotionally very high and happy and hopeful, which is awesome. Physically feel like crap <laughs> um, and so does he. So I would rather physically feel horrible and emotionally be in a good place. So I'd rather it be that way than the other way around, which it had been for a while. So this is a happy update. I actually got to, since I went in to see my doctor today because yeah. the OHSS, um, I got to talk to her about this and she was said she was so happy to hear um, the day one update and she's so eager to hear our day three update, which is coming tomorrow. And I promise I'll put a video up. I know I say that every time. So that was awesome. And our embryologist is just amazing. She said that she um, Y'all probably heard in the last vlog that she was going to sing to our embryos and she said she will continue to sing to them and pray over them. So that was very sweet and I just think that's awesome of her that she just loves her job so much and puts, you know, her whole heart into it. So I really appreciate that. Um, our, my doctor's office is actually right next door to the embryologist office. So I really wanted to go over there and see, um, I guess she's a receptionist. I don't know. I talked about her. I talked about her while I was under anesthesia yesterday, Paulette. She is amazing. She's always said she prays for embryos. And when we go to our doctor, we always stop over and say hi to her because she's just the sweetest lady. So I really wanted to go say hi to her, but they were closed by the time that I finished up my doctor's office. But I was still able to put my hand on the door and I just told the little babies that they love them and that they're strong and they just need to keep growing and I have so many people cheering them on and I know my I feel like it sounds crazy but it does, it's not crazy to me but it was just kind of nice to be you know within a few feet that's the oven going off with our pizza our salty pizza for dinner it was just nice to be within a few feet of our little littles so anyways that is our update He's trying to get over everything that he's going through. Um, these guys have been amazing. She stayed with us our first night that we came home and then went home. And this morning I looked at Ian, I was like, call Sarah, we need Sarah, get her back here. So her and Blake are here. She took me to my doctor's appointment and Blake stayed with me. And they're just really helping us because you should see us. It looks ridiculous. I. Looks pitiful. It's pretty pitiful. <laughs> if anybody had walked in our house earlier, he's on the living room floor <laughs> on all fours, and I'm just like holding my stomach doubled over, and yeah, we need babysitters. <laughs> we are not well, and <laughs> me trying to take care of him is hard because I just try to stay really still. You're supposed to stay sitting upright, so I have our bedroom comforter here to help like prop me up, because uh, you don't want to lay down and let the fluid go anywhere else. You want to keep it low. But getting up to try to help him has been hard, and then he is in enough pain, he doesn't need to be getting up and trying to help me. So, uh, we have the best friends ever, <laughs> and yeah, I'm glad they were able to come back and they're gonna stay the night with us and help us. So, we're very blessed. Um, that's our update. We will come back at you tomorrow when we get our day three report. Yesterday, we got a report at 9 a.m., which was awesome, so we didn't have to sit around and wait all day. So hopefully we get an early call tomorrow and we can tell you more about our littles. But that's all and we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>